Hey everyone, welcome to Post to Post, it's Neil here. Jersey Friday, we missed it last week, I apologize for that, but we're back this week, we've got 34 jerseys for you. Usually it's 32, but the designer this week, Tech Matt, has included 34 jerseys, so I'm not exactly sure what the extra two are. I've not seen these. This is gonna be a reaction video. You and I can react to these together, have some fun, and this should be in alphabetical order with the two random ones kind of thrown in there. I guess we'll find out as we go through, but I appreciate you joining me this week. We're gonna definitely have some fun, and if you guys wanna come up with your own designs like this, you can go to sportstemplates.net, get the exact template that you're gonna see in this video, play around with it, have some fun, explore your creativity, and if you want to come up with 32 designs or 34, feel free to send them in to the channel and I will review, react, or rank them. Additionally, there are other templates on this site other than the hockey jersey template. There are templates from all different other sports, and there's even free ones as well. So if you've already got Photoshop, make sure you head on over to sportstemplates.net get one of those free templates, play around with it, and if you want to buy something, make sure you use code post to post That's going to save you 10% on any template that you buy on the site. And there's exciting things coming too. There's some pretty cool templates coming down the pipeline for the future. All right, let's get into this and let's react to these. I got the file names to my right. A and A is first. That's Anaheim. Let's bring it up. And there we go. Oh, I need to resize it. Okay, good start here. I'm, you know, first impressions. Just give me a second. I need to resize. Okay, so first impressions. I noticed the stripes in the background immediately. Those two stripes are, you know, right behind the logo. It, it's, it's at first glance, it was a little bit awkward, but now that I look at it a little bit more, see how it balances with the same stripes down below, I actually kind of like it in there. I don't know how I feel about the shoulders. I would maybe actually uh, kind of maybe want to see the green go away. Just have a solid, that solid purple color or eggplant color, color come all the way up. Just have a real clean jersey. Uh, but either way, this is, a, you know, this is a pretty good start. All right, let's move on. Arizona, ooh, look at this gradient. We've got a gradient from green to purple, which should not be seamless, but it feels very seamless. I actually really like this gradient a lot. It's uh, it's very well done. I don't love the Kachina pattern here. It feels a little bit awkward, I guess, right there on the arm. Uh, the, the, the Kachina pattern down below is Definitely pretty good. You got a nice balance with the burgundy. Burgundy stripe along the bottom, burgundy in the neck. I think that's okay. And uh, yeah, actually pretty good balance to this one. Good, good stuff. Moving on, Atlanta Thrashers. This must be one of the bonus ones. And wow, what an, what a jersey. What an actual jersey this is. I don't love the repeating logo down below on the bottom of the jersey, but the arm design and the shoulder design is actually phenomenal. The neck is, uh, you know, that having that burgundy in there is, I guess makes sense, but it, there's no, there's no pull of that color from the rest of the jersey other than a little bit in the logo. So I'm not sure, it, it just feels a little aggressive at the top. I'd make that blue actually. But man, what a jersey, I like that a lot. Moving on, Boston Bruins. A little confliction here with this jersey. I feel like the stripes down below, or the arm design rather, is a bit modern and stuff. And uh, it's you know there's curves to it, there's movement where the shoulders are very stark and rigid, rigid because they're like kind of squared off. So they just I don't know, it feels a little bit uh, out of balance there as far as design. The actual Boston logo on the arms is okay. I don't see any numbers here, so I'm assuming the numbers would maybe go on the shoulder, which would look pretty good. The logo itself is is decent. I don't I wouldn't mind that on a jersey, but I don't like yellow as the primary. Next up, the Buffalo Sabres. And we've got the goat head jersey with a tweak to the inner arm design here. There's a much more em emphasis being put on the uh, the horns, I guess. And uh, I think that actually looks pretty good. I, I like that a lot. And uh, I don't think there's anything I'd change about this one. This one's not bad. Carolina Hurricanes. Wow. That is a lot of warning patterns happening in the neck, in the arm, in the bottom of the jersey, and I guess technically in the logo. I don't mind it in the neck. I don't mind it in the bottom of the jersey. I'm not loving it on the arms though. I, I think their alternate jersey is uh, better than this personally. So this isn't bad, but I like the alternate jersey a little bit better. Okay, next, Columbus Blue Jackets. Mm, got like a little bit of like Washington Capitals vibes here, just, just sort of. And it's not it's not bad. I think I like their home jersey more than this, or maybe at as much as this. We'll say uh, this isn't bad though. Let's move on. Okay, the Calgary Flames. Uh, this one's going to be a miss for me. I think that uh, there's just a there's a there's a vibrant red happening as the primary color in in the jersey, and then the neck is so vibrant as well from the yellow. 
it just it's, it's almost fighting for attention a little bit and because it's yellow it just stands out so much i prefer to see that black or possibly red i don't mind the shoulders too much the bottom of the sleeves are okay i would have liked to maybe see that flame be replicated along the middle of the jersey it just feels a little bit disconnected moving on to the chicago blackhawks that is again so a lot of a lot of repeating logos down below at the bottom they match the logo that's on the shoulder, which is expected. That is, uh, you know, that's the thing that Chicago does, and it looks very good. Uh, but it is very distracting down below. I think if you're going to do that, you need to really decrease the uh, transparency in my personal taste or preference, rather. So I know a lot of people will like it, but uh, I, I would change that. Uh, the rest of the jersey, though, is, is pretty good. I do like it in black. Colorado, we've got a, a new shoulder design, which is good. The arm design is is different as well, and all, and uh, the bottom has been like shifted up, uh, which is okay. I'd be curious to see what the shoulders would look like if they were blue instead of white, or reverse the bottom be white instead of blue. Uh, it is definitely a very interesting jersey in in a good way. Um, not my favorite, but pretty good. Let's move on. Muteris, the Muteris is back. I think this is not as good as the original Muteris, but it's a pretty good adaptation to the current brand and trying to make things meld a little bit. Uh, the shoulders are good. The the uh, black in the jersey is good. The logo is good. The middle bottom of the jersey is good. I don't love the arms in the bottom, though. Moving on, Detroit. Wow. Okay. Hockey Town in the neck, which I actually don't mind. The D on the shoulder looks, uh, looks okay. And the kind of slanted stripe almost looks like a pageant sheet. Pageant, pageant, pageantry? Is that a word? Pageantry? Pageant ribbon, whatever, <laughs> you know, you wear whatever that says, I'm from Columbia or whatever. Uh, it's classic. It is classic. I don't, I don't know. I need to hear from Red Wings fans for this one. Okay, the Oilers. Ooh, um, I think this is a miss for me. That I don't like the stripe at the bottom of the jersey. It feels too high. I would move the entire thing down and just get rid of the blue at the bottom of the jersey. The Oilers font in the bottom of the, you know, the bottom of the sleeves is probably a miss for me as well. Let's so move on. The Florida Panthers. Again, with the repeating logo down below, I would make that uh, much more transparent. The shoulders being rounded looks okay. I don't love the yellow in the underside of the, uh, or inner arms or whatever, the armpit. I would, I would change that. Hartford Whalers. You know what? I don't love the whatever that is, the thing that you kill whales with. <laughs> I don't love that at the bottom, but I like everything else. I like the, you know, buddy there on the arms. I forget his name. Is it, is it Pucky? And the striping on the arms looks good. The arms being silver or gray look, look pretty good as well. Complements nicely with the logo. And whatever's happening up here with the shoulder, um, that looks good as well. So I think I would just remove the thing at the bottom. Let's move on. LA Kings. That's again a lot of repeating, <laughs> a lot of repeating logos. Uh, not too bad on the arms, actually. Not too bad. But uh, this is. I appreciate the colors, but this is not one of the better LA concepts that I've seen. I think uh, my personal preference is being influenced quite a bit with these designs, just because I, I think repeating stuff is very, very risky. It's very difficult to pull off, and I don't think any of these jerseys so far that have used repeating designs have pulled it off to uh, to where I would I would like them at least. I'm, I'm a pretty harsh critic. Okay, Minnesota Wild created the scene from the logo on the arms. That's a kind of an interesting take. It doesn't totally blend too well with the shoulders. Uh, I don't know how you would change it, but I like the approach and I like the innovation here behind that. I don't think we've, I think we've seen that. We've seen it in like the middle of the jersey, but not so much on the arms. So uh, shout out to Tech Matt for Kind of showing us some innovation there. Not bad. The Montreal Canadiens. Well, <laughs> wow. I mean, good timing, I guess. So Montreal has had the dark blue reverse retro, which you mostly see here, and then the lighter blue reverse retro that I'm wearing. And this is kind of both of them put together. So the middle stripe is the lighter blue. It actually doesn't look too bad. I don't like the red neck. I would prefer that to be the lighter blue so we can get some balance. Uh, you've got the Quebec, uh, you know, Quebec provincial flag there on the shoulder. You've got uh, an old Canadian's logo on the other shoulder. I think this looks good. I would just change the neck. Moving on. Wow. Okay. The New Jersey Devils. This is very modern and very bold. And I, I like it. Like, I don't think it's necessarily plausible. 
but I like it. I like the, the I don't know, I like the the anger behind it, the the personality. And I think the Devils could use something like this, just something that's a little bit different, very, very modern, and uh, a bold, bold decision. Continuing on, we've got Nashville. Immediately, my first impressions are there's too much happening. The stripes in behind, the, the, the piano keys on the neck on the outside, which typically we see on the inside and the back of the neck. You've got two shoulder patches, additional collar here splitting off the shoulder and the arm, angular design on the bottom of the sleeves. Uh, there's there's a lot going on in this in this jersey. I think it's a little bit too busy. And plus the polarity of the yellow shoulders just grabbing your attention. I would change the, the, the shoulders from, from being yellow to maybe be the blue. That might help a little bit. I I would remove the keys, you know, the piano keys from the neck, though. That, that's too much for me. Okay, the Islanders. Oh, nice little playful waves down below. I don't think Islanders fans would like that because of the fisherman history. But I, I kind of do like that, actually. It's a, it's a little bit playful. A little bit playful. I don't love the shoulder patch. The Islanders logo has significantly changed as well because we've removed that circular aspect and just allowed the the innards, I guess, of the logo just to kind of be placed onto the jersey. That is an interesting approach, actually. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And I've, I, yeah, there's, there's definitely some innovation here in uh, Matt's designs. Moving on, the Rangers. So we've got, uh, you know, the Lady Liberty there. And I don't know what's going on in the shoulders. Oh, it's the same kind of aspect where you've taken the logo, you've stripped out the exterior, you've, you've stripped out like the support structure, I guess, from the logo, and you've just kept the guts. New York and Rangers, that's what we see in their primary logo, not on the jersey, their actual official primary logo, but it's just the text on there. Without the shield, without the, I guess, container that holds it, it feels extremely, extremely out of place. It feels broken. It does feel broken. I don't love the striping either in the bottom uh, of the jersey. The arms are pretty good. Moving on, the Ottawa Senators. A uh, little balance issue here because you've got uh, the alternate logo or, or a alternate logo on the arm, but nothing on the other one. So would the number only be on the other arm? Would the number be on the shoulder? If the number is on the arm on that side, or the other side, where does he, like, is there a room? Like, mm, I don't know. Uh, so I don't like that. I don't like the bottom of the arms either, but I do like the middle bottom of the jersey, and I love that bit of text here in the neck. I think that's actually awesome. I, I adore that. Um, so yeah, a couple things that are good, a couple things that uh, I would I would fix. Moving on to the Philadelphia Flyers. It almost looks like moose antlers or horns or something. It's a bit awkward. Uh, I, I, would, I would remove that for sure. And they, Matt's used the uh, logo here that uh, was part of, was it five teams that kind of used logos like this? It was the Rangers, it was the Flyers. Did the Penguins do this? I can't quite remember. But anyway, that's the logo that's being used from the early 2000s-ish period. Uh, those <laughs> things on the shoulders are very distracting though. Moving on. Whoa, the Pittsburgh Penguins with a, a combination between really a bunch of stuff. The original blue that they've used, the logo that I think is second favorite, I guess, in their history, but uh, with the colors changed up to have the blue on the inside, you've got the Robo, Robo Penguin on the shoulders, uh, a pose, or, you know, f one's been mirrored, so it's facing each other, and uh, it's been changed a little bit. Obviously, there's no yellow. I don't love the blue, you know, up into here in the front of the shoulders and the neck. I would remove that. I don't mind it in the logo, actually. I've never seen that before, and it looks good, and it looks good outlined in yellow, too. I like the logo. What, what Matt's done with the logo specifically is, is pretty great. Next, the Kraken. And you've got some tentacles on the arms. That looks pretty good. The Kraken text down below. Okay. Shoulder patch being uh, kind of changed a little bit with some more red. Looks really good, actually. Don't love the neck all that much, but it's it's okay. This is an okay jersey. Moving. Wow, the Sharks. What is happening here? This is like very 90s. I feel very, yeah, I get huge 90s vibes from this. Could be the original logo in the middle, but the arms are okay. The bottom middle of the jersey is is a miss for me. That's going to be a miss for me. I like the way that the logo is done, though, with a little bit more orange in there. That looks that looks pretty good. Moving on, the St. Louis Blues. Uh, STL in the arm is okay, uh, but then you got the shoulder patch on the shoulder, so where does the number go? 
Um, so I would think about that with in jersey designs. There's got to be a number somewhere, so we can't we can't take up both spaces here. We can't take up the shoulder and here. I don't know where you put the number. A number's not going to go down here. I've never seen that before in a jersey. So uh, I don't know. Um, this one's a big miss for me. The Tampa Bay Lightning. You know what? Actually, this looks really good in gray and in the middle. And then the bolts on the arms is okay as well. I think if you could, you could shift the bolts down and then still have room for the number. And I like the striping down below as well. Not bad at all. Toronto Maple Leafs. Seen very similar designs to this in the past. Uh, a lot of people kind of go this classic approach. And they've used the logo in the middle as well. It's a very logical choice for the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Shoulder patch is very big though on this one. Moving on. Vancouver Canucks. Not bad. Uh, I don't love the angular striping in the arms in the bottom middle of the jersey. The neck is okay. The shoulder patch is okay. The green is looks pretty good, actually. Let's move on. The Vegas Golden Knights. They got that repeating pattern again. Uh, this would be a personal miss for me, uh, not just with the repeating pattern, but as a whole. I don't love the design on the arm, and it's just like you've got gold up here. You've got black in the middle. You've got gray. Uh, on the full arms, you've got the red here, and then you've got the logo down below. It's just, I don't know, there's a lot going on. Winnipeg. I don't love the Winnipeg at the bottom of the sleeves, but I really like what's going on on the shoulders. That, uh, you know, that just that little graphic that just kind of comes down, or stripe that comes down, and then just, you know, as the moves down the arm, it gets a little bit thinner and thinner, and uh, comes off into a point. Pretty good transition there. It also kind of mimics the shape of, you know, the front of a plane, the front of a jet. So, it's nice. Next to Washington Capitals, which should be our last one, it is, and not bad, actually. Four repeating patterns, this is very good. Three on the arm, three on the other arm, and three down below. That's not overdoing it. They currently use it in their design. You can see it on their pants. You can see it on previous jerseys. This is, uh, Tech Matt's done a really good job not overdoing it on this one. Now, the mirrored Screaming Eagle logo, I would be against. Um, I think the that logo should only be the original orientation. Keep it on both shoulders. That's totally fine. This is a nice jersey. I actually like this jersey minus the uh, logo being mirrored. I think my favorite... Uh, actually, give me a minute. I'm going to take a bit of a random approach here. I'm going to choose a team that doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm going to choose the Atlanta Thrashers. And this, this jersey design, like I said, I would change up the color of the neck. I would remove the logos down below. If you did both of those, this would be like a perfect Atlanta Thrasher, Thrashers, like rebranded comeback kind of jersey. And this would be a day one purchase for me if this existed. Uh, I, I love the arms. The arms are just perfect. They're, they're perfect. Uh, they're, they're great. Tech Matt, great job on this one. And the majority of them as well. You know, I had some criticism, but I always do. So I appreciate you sending them in. I hope you had fun watching it. I hope you guys at home had fun watching as well. And now it's your turn. Let me know down below in the comment section. What was your favorite from this video? Let Tech Matt know as well. Be very curious to know your thoughts. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. If you're new to the channel, I hope you hit the subscribe button. And of course, if you like this video, hit the like button. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.